Hello everybody, welcome back to the All About Favor channel. Today is your Wednesday midweek word. And today I want to talk about never underestimate the power of prayer. Never underestimate the power of prayer. I'm reminded of the scripture in the book of Ephesians chapter 6 and where Paul, the author, is warning us to stay alert and be persistent in your prayer life. Y'all, we have to understand that the enemy is very good at strategizing. The enemy is very good with planning and coming up with ways to disappoint you, ways to distract you, and ways to destroy you. Yeah, the enemy is on their job. But we have to get on our job and we got to get alert. We've got to be mindful and be aware of when these attacks, these, these things are happening to us. So you have to counter attack. You have to always have a strategy and the best weapon and the best strategy you can have is your prayer life. Don't underestimate the power of prayer. See, God has plans for you, and he has plans for you to be a success. He has plans for you to be a victor, not a victim, and you've got to understand when you go to the Most High God in prayer and ask for his assistance, trust me, he will move on your behalf. Now, sometimes the way he moves might not be in your time frame, but he has a time frame for everything, and he's never too late. He's always on time. He might not take care of our, that situation the way you want, because the way you want it might not be what's best for you. And another thing, you may pray for something, and that prayer may not be answered either because he has something better than what you have even prayed for. But don't underestimate the power of prayer. Um, let me just say this. Prayer will put you in a position. It will put you in a position for, for openings. It will put you in a position to be able to be calm in battle. Y'all feel what I'm saying? And the position that you may get in, it will impact your life and it will help you to move into your breakthrough. Now, if you know how to use effective prayer, you will understand that somewhere, somehow, when the enemy has underestimated you, they think you're too weak, they think you're giving up, they think you're, they, they discount you. They say, oh, you can't do this. They uh, don't believe in you. When the enemy think they have you down and they're trying to walk all over you, or just because you walk away from something, or you keep silent about something. Oh, they don't understand. It's because you had a prayer plan. See, you you allowed them to think, yeah, we got them now. We got them now. We got him now. But they don't know. You got a bigger plan. I'm going to go and get in my toolbox and I'm getting in my offensive weapon. I'm going to get in position. I'm going to prostrate myself. And I'm about to pray on this situation. See, Little does the enemy know when they are strategizing, they are leaving out a key component. They think that you're going to be so distraught, so defeated, and so discouraged that you will not pray. They don't know. They've underestimated you, and they have underestimated your prayer life. Because, see, when you have a prayer life and you have that intimate relationship with the Most High, you already saying in your spirit, you can keep doing what you're doing because I believe no weapon formed against me shall prosper. I dwell in the secret place of the Most High. See, you begin to speak His word back to Him when you are positioning yourself in prayer, and that, to me, is one of the greatest offensive weapons that you can have. You got that secret weapon and that secret weapon is your prayer life. All things are possible if you believe it. You are moving in silence, not because you are afraid of the enemy. You're moving in silence because you already done put it in the hands of the Lord. You're moving in silence because you already know that you know 
that if he did it before, he will do it again. He's already done some great things for me. Let them do what they're going to do. Let them underestimate me because they don't have a clue what my prayer life is. You have got to know to go boldly to the throne, y'all. You've got to put a demand and, and, and on heaven and say, Lord, I expect you to move. See, you've got to remember how David said the Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? You are not walking in fear because you walked away from something. Can I say that again? Just because you walk away from a, a confrontation, that doesn't mean you are afraid. See, some people say, oh, they're afraid of their shadow. No, honey, I'm not afraid of my shadow. I'm just going to my prayer closet. I'm going to the secret place, okay? So you can keep underestimating me and thinking I'm intimidated or afraid of you, but don't underestimate my prayer life because I know who he is and I know what he's already done for me and I know he's going to do some things again. So don't let people try to trick you that way and get people to let you think that your prayer life is weak or you are weak because you walked away. See, King Nebuchadnezzar thought the three Hebrew boys was weak, but they say, you know what? You underestimate not prayer life, King. Oh, King, throw us on in the furnace. If the Lord we serve don't bring us out, it's not because he can't. So I'm speaking to someone directly today. Whatever you going through, he will bring you out. And if he doesn't, it's not because he can't. It's because maybe he got another plan for you. Because Jeremiah, in the book of Jeremiah 29, he said, I know the plans I have for you, saith the Lord, plans to prosper you and give you a good future. So don't let the enemy... Don't let the enemy for one second get you down. You keep on pressing on, keep on pushing on, and I encourage you today, never underestimate the power of prayer. Just because you don't see something happening right then, don't you understand to wait on the Lord and be of good courage. Some things you can't see that he's already working out behind the scenes. I used to hear those old church mothers sing a song, I know what prayer can do. That's what I'm leaving with you today. Don't underestimate the power of prayer and always know what prayer can do. This has been your midweek word. I pray that all of you watching today got a word. Share it with somebody else. Have a wonderful day. I will see you back tomorrow.